Good day and welcome to another edition where we talk about how to recover from deep failure. When we experience certain types of level of failures, we need to know what the process is going to be like and how to get out of it. And that's what we're going to learn about as we continue this series. Don't go anywhere. All right, so we're continuing our series talking about how to recover from deep failure. Like we already know, if you have been watching the previous video, we're not just talking about your regular kind of failure where, okay, stuff happens. We're talking about serious levels of failure, okay? The kind of thing that can cause for a person to totally give up on life. But you don't have to. That's what we're doing in this series. In the previous edition, we talked about acceptance. Well, today we're going to be talking about something that is very major to recovery, which is that you should not let the negative feelings and the negative emotions that you might experience when you experience this type of failure to change you negatively. Okay? That's a lot of work. I don't even know how to break it down into something that can be a title, but hey, the basic idea is this. When a person experiences failure of this magnitude, a lot of negative emotions are going to go through them. And these negative emotions are going to inspire negative thoughts. Negative thoughts like, you know, thoughts like, hey, you're going to be a failure, you're never going to achieve success, you're never going to come out and have the kind of life you want to have. You're going to be having those thoughts run through your mind almost 24 hours in the day when a person experiences this type of failure. Sometimes even people that have looked at that business that you wanted to start and that have told you in the beginning that the business wasn't going to be a success and all of that or the venture or the career wasn't going to be a success, all those people's words are going to be ringing in your head. You're going to sit back and you're going to feel some type of way. Now, the temptation is to allow those negative feelings and negative thoughts to cause for you to become negative. Let's take for example that one of the reasons why you might have experienced that level of failure was because of somebody who did something or somebody who didn't do something. And that person was from a particular state or a particular country. Now, when you experience this type of thing, you might begin to uh, desire to develop the mindset that people from that particular state or that particular country are no good people. As in, oh, you begin to say things like, ah, I'm never going to do something from somebody from that state anymore or with somebody from that state anymore. People like that are very, very, very dubious. They're very deceptive. They're very... And you do not need to develop those types of mindsets. It's very daunting when these types of things happen. It reminds me of a very, very little movie called The Matrix. I know you already know about The Matrix. And in The Matrix, there was a particular scene that always resonated with me. Morpheus had taken Neo to go see the Oracle. And Neo goes to see the Oracle and comes back. And at some point in time, he relates with Morpheus that he, Neo, was not the one. Neo was not the savior or the salvation or all of that. And Morpheus said something. After Morpheus allowed the information to get into his mind, he thought about it and he said, I have dreamt a dream and now that dream is taken away. And that phrase was a powerful phrase. And the emotions he must have been experiencing there. Yeah, Morpheus is a character. But most people that have experienced this might have said that statement at, at one point in time. That I have dreamt a dream, and now that dream is taken away from me. So it brings a lot of negative emotions, and what you're supposed to do is not to let those negative emotions have a negative effect on you. Okay? Don't let the negative emotions have the negative effect on you. Okay, I finally found a title that works. <laughs> but that's what you've got to do. Okay, I have a very important thing to say in this particular episode that's really, really important. So don't go anywhere. 
So there are two basic things that I want to talk about. Two things that are very important that I want to say. Most times when a person experiences this type of failure or this type of disappointment, they begin to slip into depression. Depression is a very real thing. And if you feel like you're getting into depression, if you're watching this right now and you feel like you're getting into depression, you need to talk to somebody. Because the moment you, the moment someone is in depression, it's very difficult for them to come out. These types of experiences can definitely lead to depression. Where the person feels warm, um, these are some of the signs of depression. The person feels warm, not excited about anything, doesn't even see a future. You know, there are people walking down the street, and if you ask them, where do you see yourself five years from now, they have no idea, because what they had planned for, and what they had used as a strong point of their hope, is taken away. They see darkness. They don't see anything in the future. So, yes, and they might be walking around like normal people, talking to people, trying to smile, trying to be normal, but deep down inside, they don't see a future. They're sad. They're, they're, they're not happy. You know? So, it's important for them to talk to somebody. And also, this type of event can inspire suicidal thoughts. Yes. Yes. It can inspire suicidal thoughts. When the person begins to think that if they die right now, who would actually miss them? If those are the thoughts that you're having, if you're watching this right now and you have those thoughts, you need to speak to somebody. Because people are going to miss you. You see, the person feels like a failure, right? The person feels like they're not making any impact in life, they have failed, nobody's benefiting from their life. They feel like there are certain people, if those people die, there are so many people that will miss them. But if these ones go, nobody will miss them. That thought is not right. You need to speak to somebody because you're beginning to have that thought. And if it even gets worse when the person begins to play with different ideas of death and how they might want to take their own life. Please, 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 if you feel yourself getting into depression, if you feel yourself beginning to have those suicidal thoughts, talk to somebody. In the next session, I'm going to be talking to you on how you can actually come out of those feelings and how you can fight those feelings and those thoughts and not let them get into you. So you can be a negative person. You don't have to be a bitter person. You don't have to be a negative person. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be pessimistic because of what you want to do. You come out and make a big impact. Keep talking about Steve Jobs. Always think about Steve Jobs. When he comes out of that bad situation, there are so many other people that have done that. You can do that too. Yeah. That's in the next session when I talk about the tactics. Alright, so these negative emotions and negative thoughts are going on and they inspire negative words in the person's mind. Now, the mind can neither go left or right. The mind is neither positive or negative. The mind responds to um, the strongest influence at that point in time. And at that point in time, when the person is experiencing this type of fear, the strongest emotions are emotions of defeat and failure. And the words they might be hearing in their heads are all negative. So they've got to get different information. So the first step of fighting against those negative thoughts, and those negative feelings and emotions, is to get positive information about your life. Positive information about the situation. Positive information about what your future can still be. So if you're somebody who is a reader, if you love to read books, get beautiful, uh, motivational, inspirational books that can speak to you in that situation and read up on those books. If you're not a reader, uh, but you're somebody who listens, get all your books so that you can listen to those uh, words and get those information. If you're not somebody who listens, if you're somebody who likes to watch, you're a visual person, visual consumer, get videos to give you encouraging words and encouraging uh, information 
about people who have made it through that particular situation. Another thing you can do is to talk to the counselor, talk to somebody, have somebody there who's constantly giving you the right kind of words. Because you cannot fight the negative words and the negative emotions in your mind if you do not fight it with words and information. The next thing I'm going to talk about is really powerful, and that's positive affirmations and positive self-talk. Now, a lot of people don't practice self-talk. A lot of people don't practice positive affirmations. But it's amazing what can happen to you psychologically when you start telling yourself positive things about yourself. So when those thoughts tell you that you're going to fail, you've got to say that I am going to succeed. When those thoughts tell you that your life can never become a success, you will say that I have a successful life in no way. It doesn't matter what I might be experiencing right now. It doesn't matter what I might be going through right now. My life is still going to turn out beautiful. I'm still going to have great success. I'm still going to have the kind of life I thought about and I dreamt about. Yes, maybe not this particular thing anymore, but a new dream is coming my way. And I'm excited about it. And I'm ready for that future. And I'm ready to run towards it. You've got to be able to talk to yourself that way. If you do not know how to develop positive affirmations, positive self-talk, you can always contact me. We can talk together and I can bring out something that will be very, very beautiful and very appropriate for you. So in the mornings, you talk to yourself positively. If you want to look at yourself in the mirror and do that, go ahead and look at yourself in the mirror and do that. You might not feel that way when you start. You might not feel that way um, when you begin the process, but trust me, somewhere along the line, it will begin to affect your emotions, it will begin to affect your thoughts, it will begin to affect your mindset. See, it, it, it's going to work out like magic, but you have to practice it and you have to believe it. Because we're talking about the mind here. We're talking about both the conscious and the subconscious mind. We're talking about both the conscious and the unconscious mind. So when you're giving yourself talk, you're giving your unconscious mind a separate information to process. Because if all your subconscious mind processes are the negative emotions that your mind is saying, then it's going to be negative, it's going to be worse, it's going to be bad. If you give your mind positive words that are coming from you and you hear it for yourself, you begin to believe it for yourself, your subconscious begins to gravitate towards those positive things and they begin to come out of those negative emotions. Begin to have a hope, begin to see a future. You might not know exactly what it is that's going to make you great, but you know that you're still going to be great at some point in time. You might not know exactly what it is that's going to make you a success, but you know that you'll still be a success at some point in time. Because you're telling yourself those things, you are emboldened, your self confidence is coming back, your power is coming back, your hope is coming back. Your belief is being affected. What begins to happen is that your mind begins to think differently. That's all I have to say for this particular episode. In the next episode, we're going to be getting deep into positive affirmations and positive self-talk. If you have any questions, ideas, or suggestions, you can always contact me. The information is on the screen. If you need counseling or you need consultations on any one of the ideas of business development, personal development, dating, and general lifestyle, always contact me. I'm always available. I'm excited about talking about positive self-talk and self affirmations You can tell from my voice. The next episode, I'll get deep into it and how powerful it is and how it can help anybody create any future and change any situation. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, remember, your dream is possible. Remember, the title says a successful business. The title didn't say starting a business.